Hey guys, this is Monster Ray, and I'm back playing Tower of Twenties One Seven Tent Pack. This is episode thirteen, and today we're doing more AE stuff. So I got a bunch of stuff all pre-made, so that we can already make a ME terminal. Sweet. I'm actually gonna want two of these because I want to also make a crafting terminal, and I forgot to make a crafting table for my crafting terminal. Uh, and shablam. There we go. M-E crafting terminal. A much bigger table. Yeah. Cool. So now that we got these uh, things, these terminals, we can't use them. <laughs> that is because I need to make a drive and to make some discs. And it's easy enough. Should have all the things. Excellent. So what drives do is they hold cells, um, not these kind of cells, these kind of cells, storage cells. So like the smallest kind are 1K storage, and as it says, it holds 1024 bytes and 63 different types of items. And it just costs a 1K. So I just go like this, and I want to make... Let's see, I'll make three, sure. Kind of trying to conserve my items, my items. And there we go, now we got three storage cells and I even got better than chest achievements. Sweet, so now we can go down here to our little AE system and we can plop this down anywhere where I have, oh, I should probably turn that off, grab my crystals. Got some crystals in here growing up. We want to place this drive anywhere where there's a um, piece of glass fiber cable. Which I have some right there now. Sweet. So now we can place all our drives in here. And you notice there's green lights. That means the, um, the cells and the drive has power to it. So that it can be used. So now I also want to place some more uh, glass, glass fiber cable. I guess I don't need to be back there. Oh, come on. Come on. Gotta end the mini my way in there. Because these, these cables are kind of expensive. So I don't want to waste any of them. But I can just go like this and then grab my terminal for now and place it on there. So now we can actually access all the storage of these cells. So like I can throw all my AE stuff in here. I should probably take that back out. So AE stuff is now all in here. Even place that in there too. So now that I got that, grab another cable here and place it right next to it. And bam, bam. Now we can actually craft as well. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I want the tall. Yeah. The reason I got both the um, normal... Uh, my thing's messed up again. Uh, I wanted the normal terminal and the crafting terminal. That is because the normal terminal, you can look... You can see a lot more items compared to how many you can see in this crafting terminal. But I want to be able to craft from my A system because that way I can access all my stuff. So, now what I can do is, hmm, let me look around. Okay, so for my next trick, I want to automate the um, energy for my quarry that's over there, my ender quarry. And to do that, we're going to want to make some of these uh, redstone energy cells, which... Uh, require these cell, uh, redstone energy cell frames to be filled with redstone. It means I need a fluid transposer, and it also means I need a magma crucible. So, we can easily make that, like, I don't think I can shift click that in, so, I'm just gonna go like this. Oops, I don't need to put two in there. And lastly, bam, there we go. So that should get us the, as it says, the hardened version, which is the slightly upgraded 
it's like the the next tier of machine. So for all of these uh, uh, thermal expansion um, machines, they all have a basic, a hardened, a reinforced, and a resonant version. And they go up in upgrades in that order. So if you just get a basic one, it's the lowest tier, and the resonant one is the highest tier. I got the second tier because it just uses Invar, which I have quite a bit of. Actually, I only got 52 left. Hmm. Starting to run low on that. Um, so let's go to the workshop area. And I have this area already pre-set up with some energy conduits. So I can just go over here and place this here and this here. And you see it's filling up with energy. Excellent. I want to make it so these both can't do anything, except I want the input. Wait, Mega Crucible. That's backwards. Silly me. As you can see. Uh, Magma Crucible, then for... There we go. So, input, output, uh, input, and uh, output. Sure. Doesn't really matter because the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to throw eight blocks of redstone in here. And it'll create more than enough uh, that I need to fill the cells with. So while that's cooking up, we can go back over here and make the empty cells. Which is, oops, a couple diamonds. Oh no, my diamonds! I have plenty, it's okay. So, just like that. I'm using the fused quartz instead of the hardened uh, glass from thermal expansion. So now I have these, I can just go back and throw them in here, and it'll start filling them once it gets uh, 4,000 millibuckets of, uh, what is it, destabilized redstone? Yeah. So that'll be a little while. So while well, I continue to wait for that as well. I can start showing you what I want. Oh wait, no, I f have to go do something else. To do this, I'm going to want something from a... Oh, I see. What is eating up all my life points, I wonder. But what I want to do is make a... Uh, what are they called? Transposers. That's... No, not transposers. Haha. <laughs> uh... Teleposers? Tele teleposition? I think they're teleposers. But I don't know if this thing is on. State on. There we go. You are on odd too. Good. That's what I want to see. Oops. Two. Ah. Uh. So that's probably what was sucking up my uh, LP. So I think they're called teleposers. I go in here and check. And the eye is stalling again. Come on, bro. Why do you do this to me? Uh, there we go. Where did that O come from? Come on. Yes, teleposer. Right here. Yeah. So, these are from Blood Magic. And they require teleposition focuses, which are just... Um, Ender Pearls inside of a uh, Blood Altar. And it's really fast because I have all these speedruns. It seems I'm low on blood because of my uh, orb was sucking it out. I'm gonna throw that in there and watch it change. I'm also going to want to do this again two more times because these are also used in the uh, are also used inside of the teleposer for um, I'll get there later but uh looks like about enough yep sweet so now that I got these we can go back here and can craft them up just cost some gold and more intervals He's actually used quite a bit of intervals. Didn't notice. But, um... 
these don't shift click in, okay. Easy enough. But there's one and two. Just drop that all on the ground. So, like anything else in Blood Magic, of course, bind these to yourself. There we go. And then what we want to do is go down to the power room, put one of these, um, I want to move these. Uh, one of the teleposers right here. And I'm going to need to grab the full cells over here. Because I. Oh! So I need one more block. Darn. Oh well, it's easy enough to fix. Um, I still need that resident block for something. Um. So we can't really use, well I don't want to use these because they're, they only output 400 MJ RF per tick, which is kind of slow, so, eh. and almost done, come on, and shablam, sweet, now we can go back, put them together, easy enough as getting a couple conductive things, Oops. Wait, these are used in something? Whoa, sigil of suppression. Did not know that. Uh, and there we go. Big ol' redstone energy cells. So now we can plop this down here and not that. That's not what I wanted. Plop that down there. And these should, yep. Start a... Set that up like that, and then input, output, output. I guess this doesn't need to be set, but oh well. Good. They're all getting filled up. In second thought, I should probably leave one of these here. Uh, you, I want to use uh, one of these for the quarry. Ah, oh, come on. It always gives me the wrong ones I want to use. <laughs> And bam, there we go. Excellent. So, place one of the teleposers here, and then take one of your uh, teleposition focuses and right click on it. And you see, it'll say the coordinates of it and which dimension. And then, what we want to do is go over to the. I gotta change it to Blaze. Go over to where your quarry is. And my quarry just happens to be right over here. Let things load up. Come on, do it. There you go. Break that. And then place the energy cell here. Whoa, lighting bug. And you see? The quarry is getting filled up. But it's not really mining. Which is interesting. Let me just break and replace it. Try it again. Am I out of power? I ran out of power. Okay, whatever. Um, so, interesting. All these lights not updating for some reason. But oh well. Then take your other transpo teleposer and put the right click with an empty hand and put in the teleposition focus from the other one. And then take this teleposition focus and click on it too. Sweet. And then, um, and you also going to want to put a redstone block here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think I might need to relog. So let me let me do that. I think it's freaking out. Alright, so I'm also going to need an induction smelter, which I also got, got the hardened edition. And I'll place it right there. And the reason I got hardened is so that um, the augments over here, I can use the hardened edition, which makes them all kinds of fancy. So I'm going to take that to be input and not to be output. So I'm going to want to make both outputs. And then I'm going to need some redstone and iron 
to make some red alloy wire. Which I have red stuff in my inventory. Take about nine of that. Get a bunch more redstone. Good. Good, 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 good. So what I want... Probably six. And six. There we go. And that'll cook up just some uh, red alley ingots. And then three of them will get you... What do you... What do you oh! For some reason it was showing me... I guess I didn't see the four. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, uh, four redstone and one iron gets you... Uh, one I uh, red alloy ingot, and then three of them get you twelve red alloy wire. And the reason I need that is because um, the way you use teleposters is you have something on top of them, and also you need to put the other teleposition focus into this one. It the way teleposters work is um or not teleposers, well yes teleposers, is that you apply a redstone signal and what it does is if I go up here, I don't need to look up, and I grab a lever, sure, and I do that, it teleported whatever was on top of it, and since I did it again, it brought it back, the turtle. So I have come up with a um, a way to make this work so I can teleport teleport this redstone energy cell over there. And now that I think about it, I could have just used the teleposers to transport it. Huh. Oh well. I wanted to use turtles. But uh I made a little program which I have to go get. Easy enough, I got my Moosel program moved over here. But another thing you want to do is take that red oil wire and put it a buck block next to it on the left, at least for my program, the way it is configured right now, and then down some, and then on top of the uh, teleposer. That way it gets redstone signal from this. You can also just put this on here just to show that it works. And then we want to do move and sell. So it says it's a uh, it's uh, connected to the red net and it's at the charging station. That is correct. And if we um, should probably go in and edit something. That is that. Where's that? If the message, yeah, is still empty, so that's correct. I just have to go look at the other side. Okay, so exit, and then move cell. Oh, I should need to change startup. Because of the way teleposers work, once the turtle gets, to, uh, gets transported, it actually gets reset. So you have to do shell.run, and then move that way it's it automatically starts smooth cell when it turns on like that excellent so now if we go back all the way over there to this I should actually tag to see which my what my router ID is you can do that by editing server.lua and see here ID seven or five. So I'm not sure. Oops, don't print it. Don't need to do that. So seven or five. Hmm. Oh, that's not what an ID I need to look for. The ID I need to look for is the ID of this computer. It's eight. That way I can uh, tell my t uh, computer over here to send that send them to my router to my computer over there because this is way too far away for 
it's just to reach by itself. So, in here we have a program called Query Power. So if we edit that, now there's a lot of code here. A um, couple of variables, the, my nice convert direction function, and then the very tiny uh, engine. So I need to go over here and add the way I use my router, which is just adding a dash and then the ID of the next computer. So that should be done if I just do uh, edit startup because I want to do this every time. So shell dot run quarry power. So if I now restart it, no such motor on top. Oh yeah, I put it on the side. Oops. There we go. Fi easily fixed. And oh yeah. So I need to do what is it? Right and west. So for query power, it actually uses multiple parameters. So I have to put them in yeah, separate by commas. So should be right, then west. That should be good. Attempt to call nil because why? Let me take a look. Okay, so X N A on the whole computer thing because some reason computer craft or probably its open peripherals is broken with energy cells, at least on my server, because on my single player world it worked just fine, just fine. I had it all ready, it was all good, but it, it didn't work on here. So I spent a little while making, sh I had to make it on here to make sure that it actually worked, uh, but I made a fancy little way to have the redstone energy cells teleported back and forth when conditions are met. So, with redstone energy cells, you can use comparators on them, and it'll actually give a relatively accurate uh, readout on how full the energy cell is, uh, divided by 15, because that's the amount of redstone powers you can have. So, what I have is a comparator, and then another comparator, and then a transmitter. The reason for that is, um, this comparator is acting to compare how full this redstone energy cell is. Then this comparator is in subtractive mode, or is a being a subtractor, so that only if and only if this uh, redstone energy cell is 14 fifteenths full, it'll be it'll send out an output. And I'm doing that by having a 13 redstone power here to subtract from that. The reason for that is because I, I tried 14, so like when it's exactly full, but it, it would never get completely full because there is, it is outputting to my system. So that's how I fix that. And I also have a, um, interesting, is it inputting? No. There. Now she input much faster. That's one of the problems is my quarry is not oriented the same way I think it needs to be like that isn't orientated the same as over there I think my quarry is facing this way while this is facing this way <laughs> so things get teleported exactly the way they come and if we head f over to there we'll see the other half of the way I'm teleposing these cells so over here I have a transmitter and a comparator, a not gate and an ant gate. The comparator is the same thing, it just reads the um, level of the redstone energy cell and then once uh, if it's full it emits uh, 15, if it's empty it'll use this not gate to actually send an output. But I think 
Yeah, whatever. But, uh, yeah. So, now that it's empty, the AND gate says, Okay, there's one input, but I also need the second input. And what this is, is that transmitter over there that says that the cell on that side is full. And what that'll do is this AND gate will then set an output and pulse this transposer, and the two red cell energy cells will switch places. So this thing eats faster, or it can suck in faster because I it's on 2,000 outputs, rather than my uh, 620, 640, 640 RF in over here from these two ADEX, see 320 and 320, makes 640. But uh, yeah, this thing will fill up slower than that thing will uh, empty, so that's why I have to have this, because otherwise they'd just be teleposing back and forth constantly. And that's the thing. And I can apparently do it, as you can see. Sweet. So that's how I did it. So the last thing I want to do in this episode is I want to automatically um, use up all my bar betty, ugh, my berries inside this better barrel. To do that, I'm going to use a autonomous activator, a XP drain, and an XP shower. And I'm going to also want some. Uh, where are they? Uh huh, conduits. I only have a couple. So let's see if I can get some more. Probably that many. Give me 16 extra. Yeah, it's plenty. Yeah. So, where do I want to put this? It only needs to be a couple blocks wide. I need access to that. Should give me those. Uh, I also need a f basic filter. And probably one of these. With, what is it? Green, green, green? Yeah. Lime, lime, lime. Which I'll have to take and use one of these. Oops. So, lime. And then mortar pestle. Oops, I guess I didn't need to do that many. Oh well, now I got some extra petals in there. So, let's make you lime, lime, lime. Lime, lime, lime. And put you. Where am I going to put you? So, hmm, how about in this hole over here, oh, so close, there's a big open area right here, and I think I can put you, I don't know, right here, sure, and then I want the drain on top, and then the shower, oh wait, shower? I don't need a shower. Oops. Ha ha ha. Just need an autonomous activator right there. And then some blocks. Need some blocks. So I can make sure that all of that XP is floating around. Then. So, block, block. Don't need that one. And block. So what happens if I give you these? Something? Oh yeah, it's working. Hey, look at that. No, oh, no, no, don't flow towards me. Yeah, see the XP drain picking them right up. That, see how they're floating everywhere? There, now they won't go nowhere. So, sweet! Now I just, okay, back it up. Have to make the bottom an input, don't need that output. And then go just like, actually, let's go the other way. Just so it's out of my way. Uh, should probably switch it to insert with the basic filter of XP berries. And then, there we go. Now should be getting 
Oh wait, I need to change that barrel into an in and out rather than just an in. So it's that far one. Let's see if I can't get it. Can't get it. Gotta be Ender Mini. Sneak right in here and bam. In out. Insert on that. Output always active. To the red channel, sure. I'm doing this because that way it uh, forces it. Because I think it'll actually push it into my um, other chest. And make this. Oh, wait. Is it working? Oh, wait, no, it's not. It shouldn't. I have to change this to red channel. There, now it should be working. Sweet. So now I have automated XP uh, orbs being collected rather than just XP berries. Awesome. Get rid of all those levels. And now I can just turn this back on. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and this should stay full all the time. Oh, wow, it's already full. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's the end of this episode. So you liked it, go ahead and share with your friends and spread the word. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.